Who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who will feel at home with God? He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. In other words, someone who makes a commitment, makes a promise, finds out that it's to his disadvantage and goes ahead with it anyway. Listen, Christian, we make promises and sometimes they cut right across our lives. What do we do? You, you put yourself on the altar and you say, Lord, here I am, available. And the phone rings at two in the morning. The new Christian, look, I'm really in bad shape. I'm really discouraged. What do you say? Hey, look, brother, I'm, you know, it's two o'clock, eh? Call me tomorrow. We'll, we'll have breakfast tomorrow. That guy might be right on the edge. What do you do? I know what my Savior did. He came to his own people and he offered to them the kingdom of heaven and they spat in his face and they beat him and they said, take him away, get rid of him. Spike him to a cross. And he loved them anyway. And they thought nothing of him. He thought nothing of them, thinking nothing of him. And he prayed, Father, forgive them. He kept on saying, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. What do you do? The Lord Jesus says to us, it's a heavy load you've got to bear. But listen, how be you be yoked with me? And if you're yoked with me, I'll bear the burden. My burden is light for you. If you're pressed down by the burden, maybe it's because you haven't rolled it on him. Maybe you're not yoked with him. You're trying to drag on alone. He's more than ready to give us the victory. If we'll side with him, and as he keeps his word, if we'll keep our word, I thank God for young people who start well, but I doubly thank God for old people who finish well. You know, people who just keep on keeping on right to the finish. You see, here's a man who is certain that whatever God has committed him to do, he's going to finish the job. And we've got to come back and say, Oh God, I want to be faithful to my commitment. Faithful to God. And you may do it to your hurt, but I guarantee you this, that God will more than make it up to you, for he is no man's debtor.